Welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, root your Samsung Galaxy S2 that runs on gingerbread stock ROM. So in my previous video I have showed you guys how to do it when it is running on ice cream sandwich. Uh, today I'm gonna show you if it is running on gingerbread how to do this. So <coughs> I have this Samsung Galaxy S with me. And first of all you have to find out what kind of version you are running on can go to settings as you can see uh, uh, my model number is GTI 9100 and I'm running on Android 2.3.4 and what is important is this one kernel version uh, you can see these letters follow, following i9100 my one is xwki4 you have to write this down we are going to download insecure ROM and uh, original ROM for this this version of kernel so you have to write this down uh, somewhere so my one is uh, XWKI4 so, alright then uh, you have to find out in this video I am going to show you guys how to root the phone and install clockwork recovery mode uh, so that you can install any custom ROMs uh, uh, on it because Android recovery doesn't allow you to install any custom ROMs there is no option for that but if you install more, uh, clockwork recovery mode uh, you could install custom ROMs on it. So in, uh, in my next video I'm going to show you guys how to install Resurrection Remix custom ROM the latest version uh, using Clockwork Recovery Mode. So to do this we will do we'll install Clockwork Recovery Mode instead of Android Recovery. So as you can see if you go to the recovery mode at the moment if you press volume up volume up and uh, power button and the home button together it goes to the recovery mode as you can see it has gone to the recovery mode Now it is an Android system recovery mode. So in here you can't actually install any custom ROMs. There is no option for installing from any uh, from SD card or anything. Uh, so we have to install uh, for Clockwork recovery mode. To that, the, another advantage of installing Clockwork recovery mode is you can back up whatever ROMs. You can install many ROMs as you want and you can load them whenever you want them so it's better to have that kind of say it's like a multi-boot uh, multi-boot operating system that runs operating systems that runs on your pc whenever you want you can select and run the run the custom rom so that also possible with clockwork recovery mode that's why we are installing that so first of all you have to reboot your uh, you need to download three files uh, Uh, you have to download three files uh, GT uh, first of all you need to Audi these are the files I have downloaded you need uh, clockwork recovery mode uh, file for GTI 9100 and insecure kernel for your kernel version that you have uh, you got it from system settings my one is xwki4 uh, and the original version and audit so all the links i have posted below and first of all we have to download this uh, original insecure and original version of kernels 
to do this you can go to the website the link I have posted uh, I have posted the link below also so you go to this website this page and you can find the version of your version that is compatible for your version my one is xwk uh, i4 my one is this one so you, there are two two versions insecure version and original version you have to download both to your computer i have already downloaded both of them to my computer so these are the, uh, those are those two files and uh, you need to download clockwork recording mode and Odin that those links also have downloaded then uh, you have to do ex you have to extract the Odin and then it gives you this this these files uh, then uh, you fire up Odin I haven't connected my phone as yet so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna reboot the phone in uh, download mode to do this that uh, you can press uh, you can click reboot now and press volume down power home button and the power button together to go to the download mode okay when you get into this screen when you get into this screen you can press volume up button Can press volume up button then it, the phone is on download mode and uh, let me open Odin again okay uh, we, we don't have to actually open uh, as you can see Odin detected that the phone is connected on com, com 13 so there's no problem if you if you if you have problems with connecting the phone to Odin, that means you haven't installed uh, Samsung uh, dr drivers for the phone, USB drivers for the phone. Uh, if you had installed uh, keys, it automatically installed those drivers for you. So if you have any problems, just play around with keys and install it. Then uh, you should be able to connect it to the phone without any problem using USB cable. So if you get into this. Uh, prompt that means phone is properly connected and uh, phone is also expecting download source so download source will be this one Audi. so you have to browse click on this uh, PDA and browse the insecure ROM you have downloaded Uh, let me go and uh, extract the files on insecure and the password will be password also I have posted password password will be odia at xda this is the developer from xda we have to give credit to him <coughs> You can give the password in here and extract the file. So extracted uh, MCB ROM will be here, tar file. So go back to Odin and click on PDA and browse the MCB ROM and click start. <coughs> 